The second type of man you should never marry is a man who is bad with money. So there's a few ways to look at this, all right? But let me start off by saying what I, one, I think we, we all know and can agree that finances is one of the biggest contributors of divorce. But I think what people don't understand is it's, it's less about not making enough money. Like a lot of people don't have, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of people don't have a, I don't make enough money issue. They have a money management issue. All right. So for example, I remember this couple, they were married and they was always broke. <laughs> like these folks stayed broke. Right. But at the time, they both the 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 husband and the wife had uh, low paying jobs, and then at one point it was just the wife working. Okay, and then time goes on. You know they're pushing along, they're pushing along. The husband finally gets a good job. All right, paying good money. The wife doubles her salary, and I'm thinking, okay, they they made it. They're good. No more problems. Guess what? They were still broke, all right? Like nothing changed. They were still paycheck to paycheck, not because random things were happening that sucked up their finances, things that we just can't control. No, they were horrible managers of money, all right? Now, in this situation, it was both of them. But if it's both of you, then it's super, a big time problem. But when evaluating the type of man you should be entertaining, You've got to look deeper than how much is he making. It's how does he handle his finances? Because a man who has not become a good steward of his money can easily destroy not just his life, but your life with him. All right. Can completely derail everything because he has not become disciplined with his finances. So before I even add to that, let me say this. In addition to, well, no, let me finish this point. I'm sorry. So he, he has to learn how to do that. Now, listen, I'm going to throw this caveat in there because are there plenty of people who are married where the man is not the greatest with the finances and they're actually doing well in the marriage? That does exist. But in those scenarios, the man has forfeited all power and authority to the wife to handle the finances. If this is agreed, an agreed upon structure with you too, all right, to the point where you know you have enough control that you don't have to worry about his shortcomings in that area. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to argue that because, again, can that work? Can that be managed if both people are on the same page with that? Yes. Outside of that, though, I would still argue you want to encourage this man if you're dating him or you want to see that in him first, that he learns to have some basic fundamental discipline when it comes to money. However, again, you can make it work if he hands over the power to you. But if that's not going to happen, then absolutely his inability to be good with money is a problem. So when you are dating, when you're in a relationship with a man, you've got to go deeper in seeing, does he even have savings? Does he budget at all? And I'm not saying like budget, for example, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I, I'm very good with my money. Do I have a very set budget? No. So is a budget an end-all, be-all? No, but it again, if he does have a budget, that says something. I, I, I've yet to meet people who have actual budgets, structured budgets, and aren't managing their money well. Typically, that shows someone who's very conscious and aware of their finances and trying to handle it in a very effective manner. So you want to look at that savings, budgeting, you know, what else does he have? How does he think ahead when it comes to money? How are his spending habits? Is he able to pay his bills on his own or is he constantly asking to borrow money? That's a very important thing. And I say it because there's so many women with men who are always asking you to borrow money. Now, listen, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I am not a fan of a woman lending men, uh, men money. I, I, I'm not going to sit there and say that you're wrong if you do, that you're not allowed to if you're in a relationship to do it. I'm just not keen on it, okay? 
But if it's once in a while, once in a blue moon, so, you know, things really happen and, and he just needs help for a moment and he doesn't have a bad track record of any kind when it comes to money, all right, I, I, I'm a little more flexible, right? But when you're starting to see a pattern where he's always needing to borrow, this shows you this man is not properly managing his money. Plain and simple. And again, you cannot overlook that. But I'm going to go a step further. It's not just money management. It's, is he too stingy with his money? Because here's the other thing women don't consider, or some women aren't considering. I've seen women get excited about dating a guy. Let's say the guy's a doctor, okay? And he's making over 200K a year. But what you don't know is, he ain't spending a dollar on your body, okay? As far as he's concerned, his money is his money, all right? Do not assume because he is a doctor, because he makes a, he's a high earner, that he's going to be a generous man or he's going to be a man willing to pour into you financially in any kind of way. That is not an automatic, all right? So I've seen women get caught up with men who have money but who are very stingy. And I seen, I have seen the, the, the stress, the frustration, the animosity it creates in the relationship. You could argue it's even worse than a guy, being with a guy who's struggling because him struggling and unable to pour into you financially, there may be some sympathy there. <laughs> there may be some, some more patience because like, oh, okay, he's broke or he doesn't have it right now. Okay, fine. But when he got it, you know he has it, and he's still not giving it to you, oh, you're going to feel some kind of way. You're, you're going to feel pretty salty, all right? And, and I would argue, this is my perspective, I would argue that if he, if he has it, he is very well off, and he goes as far as asking you to pay 50-50 on bills and stuff, he's not in love with you, plain and simple. So he's damn sure not a guy you should marry. Just from, it's not even about the money. It's what his stinginess means, all right? To be stingy in a relationship to a woman you say you love, something's wrong. Something's off there, all right? So bottom line, if he is a bad manager of money and he is stingy with his money, this is not a man you should marry. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here. And I'll see you there. He isn't willing to discuss issues, all right? So I can't tell you how many times I've posted a video, posted a quote, whatever, talking about the need to talk to your partner and express yourself. And women will comment.